and we're back with some more after class. We're back with uh, Lars Root again. It's his day five, so we caught up with Park when we got this one done. And if you remember from the uh, last episode, Bruno's asked Lars to move in with him because he has nowhere else to stay. So we'll just pick things up as the day begins. <laughs> Stuffy. Why does it feel so heavy? It's kind of hard to breathe. You opened your eyes and saw someone's arm resting on top of your chest. It was a male's arm, judging from its size. Suddenly you heard a snore and your heart dropped a beat, still not registering what happened around you. You calmed yourself down by doing a breathing exercise without waking up whoever was sleeping next to you. Once you were calmed down, you looked at his hand once again. It was striped and rough. Lars, that's what you said in your mind. But why was he sleeping next to you? You asked yourself. Hmm. Ah, he's staying here because of what happened yesterday. But that doesn't explain why he's sleeping next to me. I remember him sleeping on the couch. Eh, I'm tired. I'll worry about this later. You decided that you shouldn't worry about Lars for now. But you couldn't help but look at him, and you felt your heart start thumping faster. He looked peaceful when he's sleeping, even looking like those stray cats you'd found in boxes. He's a bit too close. His fur was a bit unkempt, eyebrows as thick as bushes, there were some bags beneath his eyes. His lips looked soft. You stared at his lips for a while. He gently shook your head. Yeah, Bruno, what are you thinking? Yeah, that's not a good idea. I should go to sleep while I still have time. When you looked out the window, the sky was dark, but you could tell it was already morning. But it seemed like you still had some time, so you decided to sleep more. <sighs> oh, what time is it? Wait, Lars wasn't here. Was I imagining things last night? Oh, now I'm confused. Whatever, I need to know what time it is. It showed 6.40am when you looked at the time. Still early, huh? Well, I might be able to cook and relax before I go to school. And I wonder where, where's Lars? You grabbed your phone and suddenly felt the urge to browse something random and maybe... inappropriate? Let's see. Oh, that's the same question in the Q&A forum. Uh, let's see what their opinion is on it. Are you nuts? You're trying to get yourself mutilated? Uh, and on one, jeez, I live with someone I barely know. We live just fine. I hope he's a killer. Uh, and on one, did you just assume their gender? <laughs> so many voices in one go. <clears throat> I'm all asterisk, asterisk. Please hit me up, guys. Art. Get out, you fuckboy at Wartel. Hmm. There's no real answer here. The more you scrolled down, the more off-topic it got. You decided to stop browsing this morning. Well, Lars isn't a murderer, is he? You got up from the bed and opened the window for you heard a knock on your door. Uh, Bruno, are you awake? <laughs> Lars? Uh, yeah, I'm awake. Oh, good. Breakfast is ready, so eat it before the food gets cold. Wait, huh? Okay. He didn't say anything, but you could hear footsteps heading toward the kitchen. I guess he went back to the kitchen, and now I know I smelled something good when I woke up. Wait, we don't have anything at home. How did he manage to cook breakfast? Wait, no. Can Lars cook in the first place? Ugh, my brain isn't 100% up yet. I'll just head to the kitchen. Oh, hey, Bruno, did you sleep well? Huh? Oh, yeah, I slept fine. How about you? Oh, pretty good, actually. It's been a while since I had a good amount of sleep. Not to mention I didn't have to worry about wild animals and such. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you were comfortable last night. You sat down while you said that and looked at the food he prepared. Uh, I don't remember having these. Where did you get them? Oh, Publix. I had some money from volunteer work. I didn't know you got paid for doing that. Well, I usually don't, but they kept insisting to pay me. She didn't know how it is for me. Ah, I see. Well, you don't have to get these next time. Well, I just want you to repay you for taking me in. <laughs> I know. Thanks a bunch, Lars. But next time, just tell me and I'll get the groceries. 
I have a lot of spare money, so that won't be a problem. All right. Oh, those look tasty. I wonder why did you learn to cook them? Oh, I've been living alone since 18, so <laughs> I know a thing or two. And now you are 29. 29, all right. I thought I told him that already. Hmm? Did you say something? Oh, nothing important, don't mind me. Huh, okay. So, how's the food? It, it's really great. I mean, I can't cook, so... <laughs> no, I can cook for you if you want. Really? I'll save my life. Oh, and it's settled. You suddenly remembered about this morning while you ate the food Lars cooked for you. I say, Lars. Hmm? Did you sleep in my bed last night? He choked on his food immediately and you poured a glass of water in him quickly. Hey, be careful, jeez. You looked at him as he gulped down the water. Oh, I'm f fine, don't worry about it. Oh, let's eat the breakfast, uh, carefully. Heh, <laughs> says the guy who nearly choked to death. Uh -huh. Kidding, kidding. But seriously, Lars. What is it? This food is great, I could eat this every day. Well, as I said earlier, I'll cook for you. Oh, if you'd rather I teach you how to cook it, then that's fine too. I'd rather you cook for me. <laughs> I don't want to burn the kitchen. Oh, fair enough. Mm. Shouldn't you start finishing up your breakfast? I thought you were going to school soon. Oh, crap, yeah, I forgot. You ate your breakfast and went to clean yourself in the shower. After you finished cleaning yourself in the shower, you took your time to dry off properly. As you opened the door, you looked around and see if Lars was around. Once you felt it was safe to go out, you ran towards your room and slammed the bedroom door. Uh, Bruno, everything okay? Heck, <laughs> all good, don't worry about it. You got dressed for school and headed to the living room once you'd done changing. Lars was sitting on the couch comfortably, staring at the TV. Uh, you know, if you want to watch the TV, just turn it on, I don't mind. Oh, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. I don't worry about it. So you're going to school now? Yeah. Well, let me accompany you. Ah, you don't have to do that. I usually walk by myself anyway. Hmm. And I'll see you off. Okay. Well, be safe, Bruno. Will do. Make yourself at home, Lars. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, before I forget. You took a key out of your pocket, then gave him your spare key. That's the key to the apartment. Since you'll be living here for a while, I thought you'd need it. Ah, oh, you don't have to do that. But thanks. Just don't lose the key. Oh, I'd be in big trouble if we did. The landlord already gave me a yes. Still, if he asked, just tell him you're my friend or something. It's a curious one. Well, let's hope he doesn't come today then. <laughs> I'll be careful with it. Thanks. I'm going for real now. Uh, Bruno. Hmm? Uh, don't tell anyone that I'm staying here if someone asks you, okay? It's okay if you tell people that you're staying with someone. Just mm, don't mention my name. Oh, okay. Oh, thanks, Bruno. See you later. You headed to the school while Lars stayed at home. Hmm. Hmm. Not that Lars doesn't stay here anymore. It feels really different. I see that whoever owned this house is present. No point staying here, I guess. I gotta go to school. You got the feeling of being watched. It felt like it came from that house. When you looked at the building once more, you noticed when the window blinds moved a little. That's probably just the wind. Feeling paranoia building up, you quickened your pace to the campus without looking back. You arrived at school earlier than you expected, probably thanks to the paranoia. Upon reaching the university gates, you saw Mark head into the school building. Huh, Mark's early today. I wonder what's up. It seemed like Mark noticed, noticed you were there looking at him. He looked back and smiled at you. Hi, good morning, Mark. Oh, morning, Bruno. You're early today. Well, it's not that early anyway. Well, it's my first time seeing you this early. Well, and again, you've only been here for like five days? Uh, fair enough. Jeez, oh, he's feistier than usual. You could all bit disorganized. Did something happen? Huh? Oh, really? I'm feeling fine like usual. Something did happen though. I oh, don't worry about it. I'm just getting paranoid for no apparent reason at all. It'll pass. Okay, if you say so. How about you? How are you feeling? Well, I'm doing okay. I'm a little bit tired. Had a rough night. Had a rough night. 
Going walks we talk, it feels weird standing here and talking when we should be in our class right now. Speaking of which, uh, what class are you taking today? Ah, good point. I think it's related to psychology or something like that. Or maybe it's Coach Gill's class? Huh, he teaches psychology. Yeah, I don't take his class though, so we'll be on our own today. I don't mind taking you this, let's go. Ah, thanks for the help Mark, you're a lifesaver. Oh, don't mention it. Oh, here's your classroom, I'll be on this side of the building. If you need something, don't hesitate to text me. Oh, here's my number, and I gotta go now, so I'll catch you later. Huh? Wait, wait, he left in a hurry? Well, I got his number, so I'm gonna save it for going in. You saved his number in your contact list and shot him a test message. He replied that he got your number and he should hurry to his class. I should head into my own class anyway. While opening the door, you saw Coach Gill sitting on his chair. Oh, Bruno, good morning. Good morning, Coach. How are you doing today? Ah, decent. How about you? Ah, pretty much the same. I was feeling a bit uneasy on my way to school, but it's all gone. Oh, I see. Yeah, what happened? Oh, I'm just getting paranoid. No need to worry about it. All right, what brings you here then? What do you mean? I'm taking your class, Coach. You're teaching psychology, aren't you? Of sexuality. Hmm? Did you say something, Coach? I teach psychology of sexuality. Uh, is there any difference to the class I'm taking? Well, I suppose. What do you actually take today, Bruno? Uh, don't give me that psychology answer. I need details. I don't know. Uh, give me your phone. Why do you need it? So I can show you a schedule. What else? Uh, I don't really want people playing around my phone. I don't even know if I de deleted the browsing history even. What if there's leads on my phone gallery? What did I do with my phone this morning? I don't remember. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. Hey, Bruno? Uh, sure, here it is. Hmm? Uh, let me just open the browser. Uh, okay. Uh, Bruno, you okay there? You look a little pale. I'm f fine, yeah. Once he checked up on you, he went back to open the browser on your phone. His eyes went wide for a second as he tapped on your phone and proceeded to look at you for a brief moment. You felt somewhat uneasy, but you tried not to make it look too obvious. And there we go. He gave your phone back and acted like nothing had happened. You noticed there was another tab opened. Wait, isn't that... Oh god, that's not good. Your class is in the other building, Psych 101. Do you know where it is? Oh, well, I don't. Then let me take you there, it's still time for the class starts. Are you outside? I'll tell the other students just in case I'm late. You head out of the classroom as you put your phone back, feeling ashamed of yourself for not knowing what class you take today. I think I should tell Mark I'm not taking Coach Gill's class. Well, let me get my phone. Coach Gill opened the door as you whip your phone out of your pocket. Oh, what are you doing? Me? I'm just taking out my phone. Did you have to take it out with such alacrity, though? I don't think so. <sighs> Let's forget it. Uh, yeah. Feeling ashamed again, you put your phone back to your pocket unenthusiastically while Coach Gill accompanied you to the Psych 101 classroom. And here we are. Uh, this is next to the English classroom. That's exactly where it is. You could have just told me. Well, that won't do. I need to ask you something anyway. Here it comes. You're sharing a room with someone. Why didn't you tell me? Who is that someone? Do I know him? Is he dangerous? Jeez, coach, calm down for a second. All right, sorry, I overreacted. I'll tell you more after school. Okay, I'll be waiting by the school gate. That sounds good. I have to go in now. Talk to you later. Oh, what bad timing. Of all people, why him? I guess there's no point fussing over it. I'll just deal. Time to head in. After you confirm that this is the class you're taking, you sat down and listened to the lecture thoroughly. Ah, class ended. Finally. I wonder if there's anything I should do today. Your mind wandered as you put your books into your bag. When you were done, you headed outside to the hallway. Ugh, I have to meet Coach today. I wonder if he's finished teaching. Or something on your mind? Ah, Mark. What's up? You look like you're thinking about something. You should walk your head looking forward, not down. When did you get here? I thought you were in Coach's class. Uh, I thought I already told you. Really? Let me check my phone. As he fiddled with his phone, you remember you didn't send him a text. Coach Gill thought you did when you took your phone out. 
Oh well, anyway, yeah, it wasn't coach's class I'm taking, but Mr. Smith's. Huh? Oh, Psych 101 then. Yeah, that one. Coach Gill took me here since I didn't know where the class was. Oh, understandable. You should have paid more attention to your own schedule, Bruno. Heh, <laughs> lesson learned. Anyway, what's on your mind? Ah, nothing too important, really. Well, tell me anyway. Jeez, why so nosy? He just looked at you not saying anything. Fine, I guess I can tell you. Yes, yes. I woke up today and I just wanted to browse the web, so I did. Mm -hmm. I opened the browser and browsed something. I didn't really take it seriously. You know that I went to the wrong classroom earlier, yeah? Oh, yes. So a coach could insist on using my phone so he could check my schedule. He opened my browser to open the school website. But that's not all, I'd forgotten to close the tab I used to browse the internet this morning. Oh, that must have been awkward. Oh, tell me about it. What did you browse? If it was something basic, I feel like it's nothing to feel awkward about. It's about someone sharing a room with someone they barely know. Well, that's kind of random, honestly. What made you browse that? Just plain curiosity. Mm. Oh, sure. Mm-hmm. You're hiding something from me, aren't you? I, I, I'm not. You clearly are. You're a bad liar, Bruno. Who is it? Uh, he told me not to tell him when he's staying at my place. So there is someone staying with you after all. Ah. Now tell me, please. Uh, why do you have to be so nosy? I just want to know who's staying with you. What if they are someone dangerous? He's not, I think. You don't sound too sure about that. I don't know. He's quick-tempered, somewhat stern and stoic. But I can feel he's not a bad guy. Was he the one that hurt your arm? If Mark didn't mention that, you'd have forgotten about your bandaged arm. You stood there staring at your arm. Hmm. Walls, I, huh? Say so you should reconsider, Bruno. I don't have any bad intentions by saying this. I just want to make sure you're safe. I believe he's not a dangerous person. You looked him in the eye as you tried to convince him. <sighs> you're a naive one, you know. Sure, I trust your judgment. However, I have to see it for myself. Uh, sure? And settle. Let's go to your apartment. Wait, right now I have to meet up with Coach Gill. Mm, let's talk with him. Who knows, he might get all interested and join us. What? 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 Let's go, no time to waste. Wait, listen to me. He left. You sighed and headed to the school entrance. Heck, he is fast. I'm having trouble keeping up with him. Hmm? He looked on your left and noticed that Anders was talking with the teacher. He saw you and smiled before going back to talk with the teacher. Oh, he's always busy the way I see it. I hope he can take it easy sometime. Well, speaking of taking it easy, I wish they'd let me. I should see what's up with them now. Coach Gill was already talking to Mark by the time you reached the school entrance. Knowing that you wouldn't be able to stop Mark, you just let him do as he pleased. Ah, here he is. Having fun talking about me? Huh? What do you mean, Bruno? I was waiting for you the whole time until I saw Mark heading out. <laughs> you're acting weird today. Are you sure you're feeling okay? I'm, I'm feeling good. Carry on. So, Mark, I think Bruno and I have something important to discuss. Oh, do you mind if you let us talk in private? Oh, sure, Coach. I'll wait. I have plans with Bruno, so don't take too long. Gotcha. I'll wait by the tree, then. So, what's this something important you need to discuss with me? What you browse today? Uh, what is it about again? Sharing a room with someone you barely know. Oh, uh, yeah. Why'd you ask? Are you sharing a room with someone? I thought you live alone in your apartment. I was, yeah, until I decided to let my friend stay in. Huh, what happened? Alright, I haven't told you yet. I know someone in this area, and he had nowhere to sleep after they evicted him. And I was there too, so I couldn't just ignore that and offered him to stay at my place. Oh, jeez, I feel sorry for him. How long has he been staying with you? Oh, just yesterday. Oh, that's recent, I see. Uh, what's his name? Why do you need to know? Who knows, maybe it's someone I know. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to tell anyone. He told me not to tell anyone he's staying at my place. But why? I don't know, he didn't tell me. Well, then at least tell me how long he's going to be staying there. I don't know. Uh, all right, I still need to know who it is, though. Why? I'm your teacher, I have to know if my student is safe. 
The only dangerous person here is you, Coach. If I stay longer with you, my... <sighs> Never mind. You wound me, Bruno. Well, anyway, if that's the case, I'll just tag along. It's not like you're telling me anyway, so you'll be fine. There's no stopping you either, huh? What do you mean, either? Mark's also curious. Tell me needs to know if that person is dangerous or not. Huh, him too. I see. Well, let's go then. Where's Mark? He's standing by the tree near the gate. Okay, I'll get him and we'll go together. But... <sighs> he went to fetch Mark and both of them returned. Is that what you guys have done? Ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Wow, he looks so not in this conversation. What happened? Blunt as always, this guy. Anything too important. Let's go. So, Coach Kelly joining us. He knows what happened. Yeah. I just need to know what kind of guy I stay with my student, that's all. You know, Coach, other teachers won't give any shit about that. I wonder what kind of relationship you have with Bruno. A language. Heh, <laughs> not answering, huh? That nah, doesn't matter. Let's just go then. The last told me not to mention his name if someone asked me, and I'm here telling my friend and Coach Gill. Man, I'm really in a fix. I just hope he understands. I don't get it. Why is everyone so nosy? Can't they just mind their own business? Jeez, you guys are seriously going. I thought you were kidding. Well, I'm just curious. I need to make sure you're safe. You didn't feel like responding. You just rolled your eyes while those two followed you to your place. I wonder if it's someone I know. Well, it beats me, coach. I knew the person, but I can't say more than that. You might freak out. How? what do you mean? Eh, it's not important. Let's just keep following him until we reach his place. Oh, Bruno can be too naive sometimes. I totally know what you mean, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to tease him. You know what you're doing is sort of, I don't know, illegal? Ah, Bruno enjoys it anyway. Is he though? Yeah, his face always goes red whenever I tease him. I can hear both of you, by the way. <laughs> Dealing with Mark alone is exhausting sometimes. I have to deal with Mark and Coach? Ugh, it's just too much. Ah, uh, here we are. Oh, quick, Bruno, open the door. Why the hell are you excited? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. Mm. The fear of seeing Lars phase overcame you. You opened the door slowly as you hoped that Lars wouldn't be home. Uh, I'm home. Holy, shoot, your place is big. Well, I didn't know you were rich. I, I'm not. My parents played it rented this place for me. Doesn't change the fact your family is quite well off. Uh, well, that aside, it sure is lonely here. Yeah, it looks abandoned. It's not. Hmm, why is the guy then? I don't know. Let me just see if he's home. Well, they were right. It does feel abandoned. It seems like Lars wasn't home since morning. I wonder if he's in the kitchen. Nope, not here. But he did the dishes and all. I'll call thank him later. How about the bathroom? Huh, not here either. He did the laundry too, huh? Ugh, I feel bad for letting him do that. Then he's probably in my room taking a nap. Okay, it seems like he's not home. I should tell him. Um, guys? Actually, he's not home right now. Oh, can you at least contact him? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't remember if he has a phone or something. Ah, so we're here for nothing. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, oh well, might as well just stay here for a bit then. How oh, good idea, actually. We're going to stay here for a second before heading home, Bruno. Is that okay? Uh-huh. Ah, okay. Make yourselves at home. So they're staying just in case Lars got home. I hope he's com not coming home when they are around. Uh, how was school, Bruno? It was okay, I think. You don't sound so sure, Bruno. Well, I mean, I went to the wrong classroom today. Thankfully, it was Coach Gill's class. It could have been worse. Some of my students said you were cute, by the way. What? Well, Bruno was definitely cute. I can't deny that. What? Well, stop it. <laughs> Look at his face. It's getting red. That's the same expression he has whenever I tease him. Oh, can it both of you? This is low-key harassment. What we did was just complimenting you, Bruno. <clears throat> uh, fair point. I don't consider my feelings at all. Of course I get all flustered if there's two attractive guys like them complimenting me bluntly. Not to mention they're both good guys. Yeah, sure, they might be nuisances to me at times, but I know better. Chatter fill the room. You eventually enjoy the conversation. Ah, it's getting late. Seems like he won't be here anytime soon. I don't know about you, coach, but I'm going home. Oh, already? 
when you're so reluctant earlier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to stay longer, but I have to go home now. Uh, Alright then, let me come to you guys. Oh, sure thing. Well, I still need to see that guy, though. Me too, still need to know who it is. I feel like I know the guy. <laughs> I'll tell you guys we said it's okay to tell you one. But for real, coach, Mark, please don't do that next time. You guys would have given me a problem. He trusted me not to tell anyone after all. <laughs> okay, make sure you tell us next time, though. Will do. Now get home safe, you two. See you tomorrow. Well, it's Saturday tomorrow, Bruno. There's no school on Saturdays. Ah, oh, there isn't. Well, I wish I didn't tell you so you go to school tomorrow. <laughs> if that happened, you're free to see us practice, Bruno. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, Coach Gill has basketball practice at school gym on Saturdays. <laughs> you're to find me tomorrow, then, Bruno. Yeah, that's for me. I might just stay in the city. Ah, the city. I've never been there. I might go there tomorrow. Oh, if you decide to go, you can find me at the arcade. I'm here until afternoon. I'll consider it. I wish I had a day off tomorrow. I don't really like going to school on Saturday. I just want to stay at home and enjoy a cup of tea or something. You sound like an old guy, coach. Oh, well, I'm older than both of you. Yeah, yeah, let's go, coach. Huh, okay. As both of them left the neighbourhood, a sense of relief ran all over your body. I'm glad nothing bad happened. I wasn't prepared for what could have happened earlier. Hmm... I wonder where Lars is. He doesn't have a phone as far as I remember. I wonder if there's any volunteer work at the park today. Well, if I'm going to find out, I should lock my door and head to the park. If not, I'll just stay at home until Lars is back. Either way, I need to tell Lars about this. Well, I need to tell him as soon as possible. Let's just hope I'll be able to find him in the park. You locked your apartment door before you went to look for Lars in the park. You arrived at the park safely. Just like before, the trees were moving with the breeze, the familiar sound of rustling leaves, fresh air and people walking around. Our being here always calms my nerves. I should visit the park often. That aside, where is he? Uh, people picnicking, picking up litter and dry leaves. I presume he's doing the same somewhere in this park. It didn't seem like Lars was here. Walking around and looking for him wouldn't be a good idea, so he decided to sit on the bench and wait for him, just in case he's still working. Yeah, the only exit is here, and if he's really here, I might be able to see him when he leaves. I can take some pictures while I'm here alone. You got your phone out and opened the camera app. To get in the best view, you press the shutter button. After taking some pictures with the phone camera still on, you saw Mr. Parker walk past the viewfinder. Oh. Hey, Bruno. Hi, hey, Mr. Parker. What are you doing here? Oh, just walking after lunch. Isn't it a little bit late? Too late for lunch, though? It's almost evening. <laughs> well, I had something to do and I forgot to eat. That's not like you to skip lunchtime. <laughs> hey, I can be busy too. Anyway, uh, what are you doing here, Bruno? Uh, I'm waiting for my friend. Well, hoping to find him here. I'm not sure where he went, but usually he's doing the volunteer job around this hour. Well, I've just finished talking to a friend of mine here too. Who? Oh? Yeah, it's been a while since the last time we talked. We saw each other the other day, though, but he didn't say anything. I've been trying to talk with him, but for some reason he kept avoiding me. Well, I'm sure you know him. You've met him, actually. Huh, really? Who is that? You forgot? Oh, it's that tiger we met three days ago. Oh, Lars. Oh! He's here? Oh, yeah, just doing his job. All right, yeah, he's the one I mentioned. Ah, I see. There was an awkward pause before he said something else. Oh, I'm glad he's doing good. He looks better than the previous days, that's for sure. What meant you say that? Well, good question. I actually don't know. We always had this kind of gloomy, grumpy vibe around him, but I didn't feel it when we talked earlier. He also looked... I don't know, what's the word for it again? Well-groomed? Something like that. I wonder what happened. Uh, do you know anything, Bruno? Eh, I'm not sure if I know. Whatever it is, I'm glad to see him doing better. Yeah, me too. Oh yeah, Bruno, uh, it's quite random. Have you seen Gil? Uh, I mean, Coach Gil. Ah, he was at my place earlier. Why'd you ask? Well, he told me he was going to help me with something, but he didn't show up. And the heck? He went to your place without telling me? What's unfair? Well, well he told me he's going home. <laughs> Alright then, uh, how was school? It was fine, nothing really exciting except I went to the wrong classroom. Nothing surprising, really, just usual clumsy me. 
Oh, I think it's cute you'll be clumsy and all. Huh? Uh, I mean, I mean, <clears throat> uh, uh, I have to go now. I'll see you later, Bruno. Mr. Parker? He left. He didn't even tell me what he meant by that. <sighs> uh, Bruno? Hmm? Oh, Lars. Well, how are you doing here? I was looking for you. Well, I see, you should have told me earlier. Well, I didn't know where you went to and I didn't have a way to contact you either. I just remember you did some volunteer work here, so I went here. Plus, I needed to take a walk. And that was a lie, of course, but I didn't want to sound weird. Oh, I see, okay. Or oh, is that Parker walking away just now? Oh, yeah, that's Mr. Parker. Oh, I heard he teaches at your school, yeah? I saw you walking with him at the school the other day. Yeah, he teaches English. Oh, you're right. Well, then why did you avoid him the other day? Oh, I just thought you were alone and... Yeah, something like that. I'll wear your buddies back there and just don't talk that much anymore. Oh, I wonder why. Well, that's all to it, really. I'm done cleaning the park. I want to head home. Uh, okay, let's go home then. You got up and headed home with Lars. When you reached public, she looked at the bus stop for a while before you started walking again. Hey, Lars. Oh, what is it? You got plans tomorrow? Well, I don't think so. Why'd you ask? I was just thinking if you want to go out with me tomorrow. Well, I don't have problems with that. Uh, where do you want to go, though? I don't know. Maybe the city? Hmm, I'm not. Well, too familiar with the city, actually. Ah, that's a shame. Well, we can always ask around if you're afraid of getting lost. You might as well use the map on your phone. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Well, just tell me if you want to go tomorrow. For now, I want to take it easy. I'm dead tired from cleaning the park. I swear to God, people can't stop littering. I feel like I want to bite their hands off. Whoa, violence. <laughs> not literally, of course. I just don't really like it when people are littering. It's not good for the environment. I agree with you, yeah. Ugh, just talking about it makes my blood boil. Well, in that case, you need to cool down. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Well, here's where we part ways. Huh? What do you, what do you mean, her? Huh? It... Oh. I keep forgetting I'm staying at your place temporarily. He looked like he was blushing, but he didn't make it obvious. Uh, let's go back. I didn't know where he walked faster than before, and it's getting hard for you to catch up. Hey, slow down. Huh? Why did you start walking so fast? Oh, no reason. Ugh. Well, let's head in, Bruno. Oh, you have the keys, you can go in. Let me catch my breath and slowly crawl myself into my house. Hmm. He circled around and stopped right behind you. You felt his hand holding your shoulder or the other one touched your hips. With a grunt, he lifted you up and carried you, heading toward the apartment. Hey, what gives? Put me down. Seriously, this is embarrassing. He put you down without saying anything and now you're standing on the floor. I thought you needed help. While you're fixing your clothes, he sticks his tongue out as he opens the door. Jeez, I didn't expect that from him. What are you waiting for? Let's go in. Okay, okay, pushy. Mm, did you say something? Uh, nothing. Uh, I'm tired. He plopped himself down on the couch. Ah, uh, don't worry, I wiped off the sweat while you were walking home. Ha, uh, oh, I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to cool down first for a shower. Okay. Oh, why are you standing up? Ah, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> you sat down next to him and suddenly felt more awkward than before. Is it always this awkward? Uh, is something bothering you, Bruno? Huh? Uh, no, just feel awkward suddenly. Oh, I see. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Ah, don't worry about that. Look away on its own. Hmm, okay. All right, my friends came over and said they are curious about you. I d didn't mention your name, though, so don't worry. Thankfully, you weren't home either. Oh, I see. Uh, who are they? Uh, my coach, Gil, uh, Gil, and a classmate, Mark. Oh, Gilbert, huh? You know him? Uh, I know him. It's been a while since I heard that name. I see. I wonder if they'll come again tomorrow. Oh, it's fine. I don't really care as long as they don't tell others. You told me earlier I was Loki having a panic attack when they decided to come over. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. You don't sound sorry at all. Oh, I really am. Trust me. Heh. <laughs> I'm going to shower now. Okay. He got up and headed the shower, leaving you alone in the living room. 
think I get what Mr. Parker said in the park now. Lars well, certainly sounds happier. Well, that means he's having a good time staying here, I think. Either way, it's a good sign. I should take it easy myself. Something's bothering me, though. Mr. Parker said he knows Lars, and Lars seems to know Coach Gill. Lars did say they were buddies back then, but he refused to tell me more. About Coach? He said Gill, but before I told him Coach's full name. And when is back then? There's lots of things I don't know about him. Or them. Oh, sure, I've known Co Coach Gill since back in high school, because he's coaching last school. I didn't really get to know him better. It was more like a teacher-student friendship to me. His sexual harassment tendency aside, of course. Mr. Parker, on the other hand, feels different. Sure, we're close, but I don't think there's more to it. He acts like that toward everyone. And that's how I see it, at least. Oh, yeah. Remember Mr. Parker mentioned Coach Gill, too. Anyone would know they were close with how Mr. Parker called him and all. Hmm. There's something going on. I want to ask, but I don't know them well enough to pry into their business. Oh, she'll tell me sooner or later. Huh? Are you awake now? Oh, Lars, uh, yeah, I fell asleep. Huh? <coughs> huh, Bruno, are you okay? <coughs> uh, yeah, I'm fine, don't worry. I was just surprised, that's all. Surprised? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I keep forgetting you're staying here with me. Ah, I see. <laughs> I can't help seeing him shirt as gets more excited. Ignorance is bliss, after all. Oh, I might not look like it, but I'm often clueless, especially if I'm comfortable with someone. If there's something bothering, you should tell me right now. Ah, I'll keep that in mind. I'm not bothered by the fact he's shirtless. I'm actually enjoying it. It's just surprising I woke up looking at his pecs so close to me. Wait, did you mean you're comfortable around me? Oh, well, uh, yeah. I see, that's good to hear. Anyway, how long have I been out? Well, it's been an hour since I finished showering, I think. That long, huh? Oh, yeah. Felt good on the top of your head for some reason. This is good feeling. Apparently Lars was playing with your hair. It felt good, but at the same time it was really awkward. Um, your hand? He pointed at your head. In response, he yanked his hand away from your head as quick as possible. Huh, sorry about that. Uh, your hair just felt so soft and nice. I couldn't help it. it it's okay, Lars. You got off the couch and stood up quickly. I'm going to shower, all right? Okay, I'm going to make dinner for both of us then. Sounds good. He grunted as he got up. Oh, you sound like an old guy when you grunt like that. <laughs> oh, why, yes. I feel like I'm an old guy sometimes. Well, that wasn't the answer I was expecting. Oh, what were you expecting? I was hoping you'd deny that. He ruffled your hair as he walked past you. Oh, you got to try harder, Bruno. And you should go shower now. Fine, fine, Dad. What? Just kidding, you sound like my dad. Alright, uh, I see. I need to wear your shirt before you make his dinner. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Sorry. It's no big deal, really. I should hop in the shower now. We mean to take a warm shower since after school. Alright, don't take too long, though. You don't want your food to get cold. Gotcha. You headed to the bathroom while Lars headed to the kitchen to make dinner for both of you. I don't have to cook dinner. I'm glad Lars is staying here with me. I'd have just ordered fast food while living alone, I'm pretty sure. Wait, did Lars get groceries by himself again? Ah, I can be. Must be something from this morning. I can just ask if I want to know. I can worry about that later. I can wash my hair clean. You grabbed a bottle of shampoo made specifically for your fur. Or at least that's what the company claimed. He said my hair feels soft and nice. <laughs> I'm not blushing at all. Never paid attention to it. It does feel nice. Or maybe it's because I'm using the shampoo right now. Either way, it means the shampoo is doing a great job. I'm glad I picked that one. I think that's enough for showering. Well, I said don't take too long, my food will get cold. Once the water had stopped flowing, you got out of the shower, drying yourself with a towel. Hmm, might as well do the laundry before I get out. You walk towards the washing machine and you notice Lars dirty clothes were in the hamper. Ah, you said Lars dirty clothes. I should put it in the washing machine. As you move these clothes into the machine, something fell out of his pants. Mm -hmm. That's his underwear, isn't it? It was there on the floor. You stood there staring at it. There's a sudden urge to sniff his underwear. You decided to pick it up and you couldn't help but get them curious. Yeah. 
What am I thinking? Jeez, Bruno, get yourself together. You said as you put it in the machine. You closed the lid and started pressing buttons to do the laundry. Let's pretend that didn't happen at all. I didn't think of sniffing his underwear. Not at all. I didn't see one I said in my room. He's in the kitchen, I suppose. Regardless, I should get dressed and head to the kitchen as soon as possible. It's been a while, I feel. Oh, it smells great. Oh, you sure took your time in the shower. It wasn't that long either. I say it was just right. The food is almost ready. Ah, yeah, I was doing the laundry too. Oh, well, I was going to do it after you'd finished showering. Well, you did it before me, so uh, thanks, Bruno. And, oh, well, we didn't mind, but there was my underwear there. Oh, don't worry about that. All right. Uh, what do you usually have for dinner? I'm curious. Oh, honestly, whatever is fine, as long as I have something to eat. My parents always cook a lot of stuff for dinner back home. Since I live alone and I can't cook, I'm sure I'd just go outside and get something to eat or just order some fast food. I'm really glad that you're here so you can cook for me. Plus, I don't feel as lonely than be as lonely as before. <laughs> I see, I'm glad you're feeling that way. I'll cook for you as much as you want. Oh, wow, that's something people like me want to hear. But yeah, that's nice of you to cook for me, Lars. Oh, no, thank you for letting me stay here. I wouldn't know what to do if it weren't for you, honest. Well, this is the least I could do. I appreciate it. Well, that aside, dinner is served. Oh, nice. There you go, Bruno. Ah, okay. I'm getting hungry just looking at it. Haha, <laughs> let's not keep you waiting then. Dig in. Don't mind if I do. Ah, that was so good. Well, I'm glad you liked it. I'm going to do the dishes now. You don't have to do it right now. Ah, that's fine. I'll just do it anyway. Best to do it before it piles up. Ah, good point. Still sit in the chair, you talked with him some more. I noticed you cleaned the house too, you didn't have to do that honestly. I don't have anything to do, so it's no big deal. I live here after all, so it's my obligation too. Well, at least temporarily. Well, if you need help, just tell me, you don't have to do it alone. Well, I don't mind really. I love cleaning, so it's enjoyable for me. Okay, you love cleaning, you cook good food, there's nothing more needed in a guy. Please marry me! <laughs> you mean it? Oh, well, I was joking, of course. Ah, I see. I don't do well with jokes. <laughs> hey, in any case, please tell me if you need help with the cleaning. To quote you, I live here, after all. Ah, oh, well do, Bruno. Wait a minute. He said you mean it, because he didn't know I was joking. What does that mean? Oh, oh yeah, you didn't give me your phone number. You don't have one, am I right? Uh, I already told you yesterday. I mean, I know that. I've just meant, how am I going to contact you when you're outside then? That's... I don't know. Oh, well, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Well, I'm done doing the dishes. Want to head to the living room? Or do you want to go back to your room? Let's head to the living room. Let's talk in the living room. It's still early anyway. Oh, sounds good. Let's go. Both you and Lars headed to the living room. Oh, it's nice to be able to relax on the couch after eating dinner. Oh, what did you usually do after eating dinner? Oh, I just stayed in that small tent most of the time. Well, if not, I'd just sit on the rock and stare at the fire. It was fun for a while, until bugs started to crawl on you and mosquitoes feasting on your blood. <sighs> Some stress him. Well, it can be. But well, I wasn't really bothered by it. Well, at least I think I wasn't. I see. Oh, well, what about you? Me? Unless someone asked me to hang out, I'd just stay in my room and get all snuggled up. Ah, uh, you want to stay in your room instead? No, I'm good for now. I never had a roommate, so this is really exciting for me. Oh, all right. If you want to hang out in my room, I don't have any objections. Uh, in your room, is it okay? Yeah, sure, I don't see why not. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, please, want to head to my room? Well, if you're okay with it. Let's go there, I prefer staying in the room anyway. All right, uh, let me turn off the light first. Then, let's go. You plopped into the bed as quick as possible while Lars sat on a chair in your room. Oh, this is exciting. It feels like I'm having a friend sleeping over. Uh, I don't think it's that exciting, though. Well, this is the first for me. The... the first? Mm hmm, it's the first time I'm sleeping with someone else other than my family. Oh, uh, you never had sleepovers before. Nope, not at all. My friends didn't want to go to my place. My parents looked scary and approach unapproachable. And as you guessed, my parents didn't let me stay at my friends' places either. 
Well, that's not good. Well, there's any reason for that? Hmm, I don't know. They always told me I'm too clumsy to save my own life. <laughs> that was back in elementary school. The time I reached high school, I was too lazy to sleep at someone's place. Oh, I see. Well, that's not really sleepover if I'm going to stay here for the rest of this week, or probably longer. I don't mind at all. Oh, I wonder if Publix has a job opening. I'd like to work part-time there so I can help you pay the rent. Uh, then again, I don't have any work experience in that field, so I'm not sure if they want me to work there. I can ask around if you want. One of my friends works there. I can ask him about job openings. Oh, well, I'll think about it then. Just tell me when you want me to ask. Oh, uh, yeah. Just let you know, though, I don't mind if you don't help me pay rent. I'm cool with you cleaning and cooking for me. <laughs> okay, I just want to help more, though. Mm -hmm, I'm thankful for it. I'm sure it helped a lot. Oh, oh, you know, if you want to sit on the bed instead of that chair, feel free. Oh, I see. I'll keep that in mind, Bruno. Mm -hmm. You chatted with Lars about several things before you headed to bed. It was just a normal conversation between both of you. You learned he can be a great person to talk with when he's relaxed. Once it's your bedtime, he said goodnight to you and headed to the living room to sleep on the couch. It didn't take too long for you to fall asleep. And that's all for Lars Day 5. Yes, it was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> so that is uh, where we are for now for the itch updates on Parker's and Lars routes. Of course, the episode Lars and the Day 6 are out for patrons. So if you have a bit of spare cash, you can throw Dan Day in the team. You can do that and get early access to these. As I've said before, once the uh, next updates come for the public on these routes, I will get going on the next videos. But until then, bye for now.